Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega Señora con nosotros los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. During my long experiment in Mexico City, uh, one of the goals of the long experiment is uh, to spend a few months immersed in a different uh, culture. Uh, this has a, a few different goals. One is to uh, ideally be working in a, in a more poor milieu, coming uh, as you do from, uh, from such a wealthy country. Uh, another is to get a greater appreciation of the, the worldwide society of being a member, not just of the province of uh, English Canada, but also of being a member of this worldwide institution, the Society of Jesus. Uh, one thing that uh, struck me uh, being in Mexico is uh, certainly the, the level of Catholic faith uh, here, which is uh, was far higher than in Canada, uh, the, this country of uh, 112 million people is roughly 90% Catholic, and unlike at home, most of the churches that you see uh, will offer you know 10 or 12 masses on Sunday, three or four on a daily basis, and uh, the people are, are practicing their Catholic faith, at least in that respect, as far as going to church, uh, much more than, than you see at home. Uh, and uh, the faith is also uh, just simply more present, I guess, in the society, uh, I think, in large part because uh, it is such a, uh, it, it's, it's shared among so many people uh, in the country. So, for instance, one of the wonderful experiences I had early in my long experiment was uh, going to a mass which was a part of a monthly uh, protest being uh, held in front of um, the headquarters of a mining company where uh, five years ago over 60 uh, miners were, uh, were killed and the families are still working to both to try to have the bodies recovered which has never happened and also to try to improve uh, working conditions for miners. And I really appreciated having a, a mass being an integral part of the, that uh, protest, that work for social justice that's, uh, that's being done by these families, by some Jesuits who are collaborating with them and, and by others. Uh, it, certainly a, a poor uh, country we're living uh, here, this community is in a sort of working class neighborhood, a uh, neighborhood that doesn't have a very good reputation around the city. Generally, when I tell people I live in Takubaya, they indicate that they'd be a bit nervous uh, around there, at least at night. During the day, it's fine, but you have to walk, watch yourself at night. And the element of poverty has become more evident in the last few weeks as we've been suffering from water shortages. Uh, we've had maybe a couple of hours of water a day. Uh, and the, uh, people keep telling me that this is rotating around different neighborhoods of the city, but everybody seems to agree, well, of course, that won't happen in the wealthier neighborhoods. And this is just a sort of accepted part of life here that, that uh, people in the poor neighborhoods, the poor generally, are not going to get a very good uh, deal. Uh, another huge uh, aspect of uh, life here now, over the past four years uh, in particular, is the war on, on drugs, which is very, very present. We've got a thousand people dying every month uh, in this war in this country. So uh, every day the papers are filled with uh, stories of shootouts and uh, massacres, detentions of, uh, of drug lords and, uh, and whatnot. So the level of violence has uh, uh, really seared itself into the, the national psyche. Uh, Fortunately, it's not as present in Mexico City, although it is to some extent. But uh, but in many states of the of the country, uh, it's a, just the day to day reality that people are living with now. So, uh, and uh, finally, just the energy of being in Mexico City has been uh, been wonderful. I mean, it's a very crowded city, and you walk around, and it's just the there's life bursting out of everywhere. All the, the streets are filled with 
with people, with street vendors, with taco shops, with uh, just all sorts of things. And, and there's a real, um, there's a real joy, uh, which is a part of this energy. Uh, part of the energy also comes from uh, just a struggle to make a living on behalf of uh, the, the, so many people uh, find difficult here. But um, but there's uh, certainly in uh, contrast to to what one typically would find in in Canada, much more uh, much quieter, laid back uh, uh, pace uh, generally in, in the city.